This is the one we've been looking forward to. Jean, the chair is yours. Yeah, you're there. Yeah, good enough. Good enough for your game, Jean. Thank you, No. Welcome. Do please take a seat. Thank you. How are you? Very nervous. No need to be. Very elegant lady. The banker's friend. But we'll come on to that in a moment. Jean Hopwood from Stockport in Manchester. Yes. A retired BT operator. Yes. And apart from the terribly obvious, what did that involve? Well, I worked for part of the time on directory. Fantastic. When you went like this, to <laughs> plugged to it plug, all in, with, plugged it in with those jack things yes, and whatever. Yes. And did you have one of those plastic things with a little horn yes, that came round like that to start with? And so this involved you living in India somewhere, did it? No. <laughs> <laughs> this was in Stockport. In Stockport. In Stockport. Well, this must be very familiar to you. A lovely old phone, Bakelite phone. Well, I appreciate now that uh, our affair is over. Oh, so you are admitting to an affair with a well, banker? Yes. Um, it, it must be over because now I want money off him. I've saved him an awful lot of money yes. during my games. But I want some off him now and I hope he will be kind. I don't expect him to be kind. With a bit of luck, you'll get a drink tonight. Uh, what's the threshold, the financial threshold? What's the target for a drink? You're not going to buy him a drink if it's less than ten grand, are you? No! <laughs> <laughs> no delay! No! Fifteen? Drink? Oh, yes. Yeah. OK. Yes. So yes. we've got to get you at least 15,000, yes. otherwise parched at the hotel tonight. Yes. You happy to go on? I'm happy to go on, Noel. I would like you, please, to confirm that you chose box 18 at random before the game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where that money is sitting right now. Jean, I think he's going to tamper with your emotions. Yes. I think he's going to play you very hard yeah. indeed. And I wish you a huge amount of success. Good luck. Thank you. You know the After that, after okay. that. You have pre-chosen the five. Okay. I'll start with Ben, please, number one. OK, Jean, good luck. You'll be missed. Thank you. Bruni, number four, please. All the best. That's OK, Bruni. That's OK. So long as we don't go any higher than that. Ah, Maggie, number three, please. I wish you all the best. You're a lovely lady. Thank you. That's out of the way. <laughs> Five, Pete, please. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Ron, please. Seven. A blue, please. Keep your fingers crossed, everybody. deliberately did not want to say anything at no. all. It unfolded beautifully for you. 
A couple of people behind us groaned at 15,000, but mm -hmm. 15,000 is absolutely it's fine. fine. It's not even brave face fine. It's fine. And then four blues. Fabulous. Hello, banker. He's <laughs> going, I love you, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> My angel of doom, <laughs> the Grin Reaper. I wish you'd. Can't you keep this shorter? I'm doing my throat in here. something. I think you're in the Hall of Fame. Since you've been here, I mean, it's 27 games, but in your boxes you have been so destructive. You've had over a million pounds worth <laughs> of money in your boxes. <laughs> you say it's a dark, dark day for the banker. Oh, and he wants to give you something really special as a token. Oh, it's a poem for you. There's oh. one of the banker poems. Oh, here it is, with the banker's seal. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's a long one. Dearest darling Jean, I really have to say, you've been my bestest girlfriend in every single way. You've harvested so many souls and never looked aggrieved, so now that you are leaving, <laughs> I feel somewhat bereaved. Please accept this floral tribute and my love that's never deeper. I'll save you 13 kisses, my own, my sweet, Grin Reaper. I love you, baby. <laughs> the unmistakable voice of Banker White. Thirteen, of course, you have the necklace with thirteen on. Yes. And thirteen is for you a lucky number? Yes. Uh, well, reasonably so. I'm not superstitious. Put it and that I way. Live at thirteen. It's your own floral tribute. Wonderful. We thought a bunch of flowers wouldn't be enough. It has an interesting theme to it, this game already. Your offer, your opening offer, is £13,000. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. No. It's a great opening. It's a great game, hey, Let's not get too carried away. Um, clearly, there's a lot of love and affection, a lot of emotion riding on this, but also a lot of strength in your game. Fabulous opening. But as only he knows, I am prepared to go all the way. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he said he found that out on your first date. <laughs> <laughs> Are you there? Yes, anyway, we must crack on because I want some of that money. Question? Ready Ask for it? Ask me the question, Let's please, Noel. £13,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. And then on you go! I'll take box number 10 now, a newbie, to try and put her out of her misery. I know what it's like. Ooh. 
Thank you. <laughs> well, could be, could have been better, Mary. Yes. <laughs> Please try harder. <laughs> I will next time. <laughs> <laughs> So I'd better go with number 13, seeing as 13 is the theme. 13 holds no fears for this lovely lady. Good luck, Jean. Thank you, Helen. <laughs> oh, for us! Do you want a cup of tea? Yes, please. OK. Uh, <laughs> do not be misled by all the talk of the banker's affection. If he gets the opportunity, he's going to crush this lady. But, you know, there's something special about her. Come back. Old El Paso Fajitas. MP Cull, number 14. Ooh, trying the Zyder way. Like it. Oh, what did you have yesterday? A hundred thousand. And what did you have the day before? A hundred thousand. You are a <laughs> disciple of Gene. <laughs> I know. Cull, don't do it to the master. You'll I hope I won't see you. You're a remarkable lady. It's got to be a blue. Oh! No! Oh, it's close. Okay. No, it's 20,000. Not too bad. Off the bar. <laughs> you the evil eye. Oh, it does look a bit different now. Yes, it does. But not bad. It'll do. It's not bad. It'll do. Big hole in the middle. Hello, caller. How can I help you? <laughs> a number for Jean Hopwood? Yes, 250,000. Oh. <laughs> That made him choke. <laughs> he just said, sorry, wrong number, and hung up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try this again, shall we? <laughs> Hello. Hello, that guy. It wasn't such a great round, but it was following a great round, so it was a good round. It was an acceptable round. It's a round we're comfortable with at this stage. He recognises that you are a very good sport. Which is the reason why, despite what has happened there in that round, which we have to say wasn't as good, he's not sticking, he's not going down, he's actually going up. And the offer now is 13,192. I'm ready for the question, Noel. £13,192. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go with Helen number 12, please. Well, fingers crossed this is for a lovely lady. I do hope it's blue jeans. Do I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we like our blue jeans. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to try a bed now, please. to go with number six, my neighbour. I'd like the tempe, please. OK, all for you. Oh! oh! No, no, no. <coughs> no. I know I was training you when I was there, but you didn't have to do it to me. 
Mm. I don't know yet. A I, had a fun, I had a funny feeling it was sitting here, you know. Did you? Well, it mm. hasn't come to the table for so long. No. And I thought, well, no. wouldn't it be the most perfect irony, after all the joking about you being in the pay at the banker, if actually you'd taken in for a quarter of a million? I just had a feeling that well, that was the script. Oh, it would have been good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's not, but there's still plenty of money there. Hello. Oh, he's off again now. Please, please, Ian, don't tell me you don't care. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he says he's got a lot riding on your relationship. Yeah, I thought it was going to be here as well. Yeah. Well, but do you remember she started her life in the Dream Factory with the hundred thousand, not once but three times, first three games. So wouldn't it be a lovely little fateful twist if the hundred thousand has come to the table again? Oh, he can't shake the thought out of his mind that actually, for whatever reason, the big numbers have homed in on you. Or more to the point, you've picked boxes mm. with big numbers. E. Gene, a lot of people would be heavily punished for this. Your offer begins with 13,000 for the third time. And it's 13,000 and 13 pounds. How about that? <laughs> truly, truly amazing and amazing. Yes, I am. I am after the quarter of a million going. <clears throat> Normally, mm. the departure of the biggie is the sign that here he comes. Yes. He's going to have you, but for the moment... But he's remembering that lovely weekend in Western Supermare. <laughs> in the beach hut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for the question. 13,000 and 13 pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr. Banker, for that very good offer. But I'm very sorry. At this moment, it's no deal. <laughs> right. No more damage. Got to get to eight box with no more damage. I'm going to go with Ed, and I would like 10p off you, please. Even though you destroyed so many people's games, we don't hold it against you. Thank you, Ed. 10p. Fingers crossed. 3,000, okay. okay. Mikey. I'll go with you, number eight. What the best, Jean. Please, Tempe. I keep trying. Oh. <sighs> Ever since the opening round, each round has contained a hit. And there's the 100,000 hit. So, you haven't brought that to the table. No. Nope. 75,000's there. <laughs> I'm going for that. Big pressure on now. Huge yes. significance on this. Who can take the pressure? I know who can take the pressure. It's our little Rich. Fine. Yeah? Yeah. You're That's okay. what made me this small, all the pressure that I've absorbed. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle a little bit more. Rich? Yeah. Look at it. You're a good reader of the game. Yeah. If we find the 75,000 or the 35,000, it's going to be a horrible, horrible end to your time here in the Dream Factory. Come back after the break and find that Gene is about to win £75,000. Good script. Good storyline. Don't miss it.
Are you Britain's brainiest family? Families all across the country are preparing to battle it out. Welcome back to Dreams Game. He could not... He could not have said it better. The little guy over here, he's a great character, and what he's going to do now is keep this game running the way we want to. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Please, Rich, I if you really can do us a favor. I really want this to be Blue Fugin. You're an absolutely amazing person. It's been a pleasure knowing you. Thank you, Rich. Yeah! yeah! 500. <laughs> That's great. I love Good that lad. look around the side of the box. What, what, what is yes. it? Yes, <laughs> yes. What is it? He's lovely. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Did it for you. Nicely balanced your way. I can see why you wanted that 10p, though. Hello. Mm. All good, subdued. Hello, subdued of Bankers Towers. Oh, my word. Is this right for a, for a national television show? He's got things he wants to tell you. <laughs> the diamond ring you promised her, yes? was cut glass. <laughs> when he was driving here this morning, he was driving through Bath, and there was a little girl having a birthday party. She was 13, and he nicked those flowers off the front lawn. <laughs> Sounded very emotional now. Uh, he can't offer you the um, 13 anymore. No, it's not. I obvious. mean, you've had it three times, it's but it's, it's fairly obvious there. Uh, but it's £10,000. That's still a good offer. It's still a good offer. <laughs> Within the context of your game at this moment, at the eight box stage, 10000 is a good offer. It is. I think it is. Ed, what do you think? It is a good offer. Um, obviously, you don't want to lose the two boxes above it. So there's a 6 in 56 chance of that, uh, which is roughly just over 10%. I'm ready for the question, Noel. Thank you. £10,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> Game on. <laughs> My knees are weak. <laughs> well, your courage isn't. Go in number 16, Rob, please. All right, Rob. Can you give us the 10p that she has been after for so long? Try the best way, Dean. It's been a pleasure. Away. Took your time finding that, didn't you, Jim? <laughs> I don't know. Why didn't you go there in the first place? <laughs> I'm going with 22, Potsy. Oh, Potsy, come on. It would 50 just be. pounds please. Yeah, it would just be fantastic to have an all blue round. Go on, Potsy. Do my very best. Go on, Potsy. Don't lady, spoil Jim. it, Potsy. Do it, Potsy. Yeah! yeah. Stage, I've not seen a red stack. If we could get to a five box with a red stack, it would be fantastic. Find the fifty pounds. I'm going to go number eleven. Fifty pounds in that box, please. Please, you Rob. Really hope it is, uh, Chris. Oh, well, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's keep very cool, very calm about this. It would have been ideal if it had been an all-blue, but that is a much stronger position. I don't want him to think that we are getting nervous, excited, wound up by this at all. 
Serene Jean. Hold my feet on the floor, will you, please? Hello. Right. Okay, I'm ready to pass it on. Jean, you are the most wonderful, tenacious, and indomitable lady. But please, get out now. <laughs> okay. 20,000. <laughs> Doubled it. Oh, is that a problem? 20,000? He's doubled it. Mm. God, that was just as well you showed that bit of courage. Mm. Do I take a little extra courage? Or is that being greedy? Problem, isn't it? It is a problem. That's what the game's all about. Just crossing that line. From courage into foolishness. As you say, from ambition to greed. Tricky. It's going to reveal another facet of your character, this decision. I'm ready for the question, Noel. I love the way you're not sweeping, you're not pilgriming, you're just gening. £20,000. Deal or no deal? might disappoint a lot of people, but I can do a heck of a lot with £20,000. Deal. It's going to make a big difference to Jean's life which is great news for us. You said that maybe you're disappointing people. Possibly. You will disappoint us. There's the 75,000 in there. And let's face it, with your track record while you've been here in the Dream Factory, it's odds on that there is 75,000 in there. So, you have to prove me wrong. I'll go with 19, Janet, please. Okay, Janet, here we go. That'll do. Yes. That's the first component of the round that we want. Well, I like things in order and tidy. So I'm going to go with 21 Tracy, please. No. 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 Who clapped? <laughs> Follow the plot. A thousand would have got her off the hook if we were still playing. If this is 50 pounds, oh! Go with number 15, Charlie. Charlie, it has to be the 75,000. I'm really sad that you're not beside me, and I pray that this is the 75. Say something. That's what I was going to do. That's all right. Tell him. Just hang on a minute, please. <laughs> I've spanked the banker in another way. <laughs> <laughs> he said this spanking is considerably less pleasurable than the last one. <laughs> <laughs> She's got you. Betrayed. Oh, come on. Come on. We've had a good joke. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you. That's nice. He doesn't often change the tone no. of voice just like that. He said, we have been joking. He's enjoyed the joke. And 
if he had met you under some other circumstances, he would have considered it a very great honour to have known you. Um, it would have been £1,300 at this point. It's understandable. 1300 yes. it would have been. Um, he sounded great there, actually. There was, there, was oh. a, there was a little flicker of humanity, which we don't often get from the banker. No, I was expecting the sting. Yeah, no, he's drawn it out time. of you beautifully. He's but, very clever. Uh, it's just the scale of your victory now. Here we go. Is it the big victory or is it just a victory? It's a victory. It's a victory. <laughs> Yeah. By 100%. So, £50 is in the final box. Maria, it's down to you to complete this game that I think has been delicious. Jean, Thank you. you're an amazing lady. You're an inspiration to us all. All the best. Thank you very much, Maria. £50 over there. I enjoyed it. Have you enjoyed it? Oh, I have. So nervous at the beginning. Jean, I, I consider it a real honour to have met you. I think my lasting memory is of a very serene lady with a fabulous sense of humour. And the way you've played along with our silly little joke about you and the banker has been, frankly, magnificent. And my nightmare today was that he would have the last laugh financially. Mm. Mm. He hasn't. No. And it's seems so gloriously appropriate that I'm saying, Jean, congratulations. You spanked the banker. Yeah. 20... Yeah. Uh, yeah. That is popular. That is so popular. And don't you think it is just so appropriate that she does get the 20,000? I think she was very brave with that 10,000 offer. I hope you found it enjoyable, and I'm a little bit sad that the long gag about her and the banker has to be over. But, as you know, tomorrow there'll be another storyline emerging here in the Dream Factory, so don't miss it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Carol Vorderman is a busy bee. From Countdown to Paul O'Grady, next.